What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks, especially for beauty, fashion bloggers, if you're talking about makeup, all of that kind of stuff. Even if you're a different kind of vlogger, this tutorial is probably going to be helpful for you also. But the reason why I'm talking about the beauty and fashion vloggers is because a lot of them are subscribing to my channel and I thought this would be a great tutorial for all of you. So we're going to go to File New and select a new project. Select OK. And then we're going to go to File New, select Sequence. And the reason why I'm showing this part of Premiere Pro again is because these are the presets where you can match it to the way you record the video. So you really need to learn about the way you record your video, then match it to one of these presets. I have it at 720, 60 frames per second because I'm using a DSLR over here. And if you want to change that to a custom setting, you go over here to select custom and then you can do what you want. Also, I want to talk about the lighting that you use. It's really important to have great lighting for your video, and I'm sure you know that already, but I would recommend using natural light first. And if you don't have natural light, I suggest that you purchase some really great lighting. And one of the companies that I use is Cowboy Studios, and they're a really great company. I have no partnership with them. I'm just saying that their products are really fantastic. So you might want to check them out. And as far as anything else goes, once you're ready to do that, you'll select OK, and you'll create your sequence. Now I'm going to open up a project that's pretty much my template. And what I mean by that is that you create a project and you can reuse the same file. And that's another great thing about Premiere Pro. So you'll save it and then all you have to do is replace the videos that you want to use. So in the beginning of the timeline here, you'll notice I have an intro. The intro is only a few seconds. And if you notice the audio here, the reason why I have it like this is because it's a very simple fade out. And what that means in relationship to this video is that I have the audio fading out and I have me talking. And it's really important because obviously people want to hear what I'm saying. So we have to have the music not as loud as me talking. And that's what the fade out is for. And to do that, it's really simple to do. You add a keyframe here, left click the keyframe, or you can select the pen tool and you can click on the timeline here. Once you do that, you'll scrub on the timeline to where you want to add the next keyframe. You'll select the keyframe here. Again, you can either choose the pen tool or this, and then you'll just lower it here. And that lowers the volume. And that's a very simple fade out. Over here, we have the audio fading in, and we just do the opposite. So we'll take a keyframe, select it over here, scrub on the timeline, select another keyframe, but we'll just adjust it so it's the full volume and we're fading in. So that's a fade out and a fade in. I also want to show you guys this audio track mixer. This is something that somebody was asking me before. You go to window, select audio track mixer, and this allows you also to mix the audio with your videos. A lot of people who create fashion and beauty vlogs, makeup tutorials, all that kind of stuff, they often use music in the background. And it's really important that you adjust the music like I was talking about before, so that it mixes in with your audio, but you can actually hear what you're saying. So say I have this audio on track two. Right here we have a track two at minus 15. And we also have keyframes here for lowering the audio, but say we still need to lower the audio more. All we have to do is adjust this. And you can even increase the audio if you need to do that. Next, what we can also do is actually edit this in Audition. This is another way you can edit audio. So if you have Premiere Pro and you're thinking about getting Adobe Audition, it's another good tool. You can right click on this, select edit in Adobe Audition. Command A to select all the audio, and you can start adjusting the volume here if you want to. See, for the most part, Adobe Premiere Pro can handle video editing and audio editing, but Audition is really all about audio for the most part. So that's the reason why I would show you that kind of application. But for this situation where I'm editing audio or editing clips in Premiere Pro, all you have to do is increase the size of the timeline where you can actually see the audio here easily. And I'll press C on my keyboard and you can start making some cuts to your video. And that's very simple to do. So you could edit audio in Premiere Pro or you can use Audition, either or. It's really about what you want to use. And say that you have a problem with your lighting. I notice a lot of beauty and fashion vloggers, they have great lighting for their video because they want to show obviously what they're doing and they want it to look great. So it's really important to have good lighting. I would say this, if you have any issues with your lighting, because sometimes things don't work properly, you go over here, you can select auto, but you have to be really careful with the auto color. Because I notice when I use auto lighting with my camera, it's not always perfect. And the same thing with Premiere Pro, when you use auto, it's not always to what you like. But if you try it and you like the way it looks, try to render it and you might actually get some good use out of this. So you'll select auto color, Left click, bring onto your video, and you see the whole color of the video is enhanced and the brightness is enhanced. I find this to be a lot better than brightness when it actually works. And when you select auto color for your video, you can start adjusting it and adding different options to the way the video looks. It doesn't have to be at the default, so you can change that also. 
Fast Color Corrector is an awesome tool also. And right here, you could use Auto White Level if you want. You can use Auto Contrast if you want, Auto Black Level. You could start adjusting the input levels. So if you want to make it look brighter, and you scroll down the time like that. Now as far as the effects, you know, when we talk about changing the look of a video and you want to make it look interesting, one way to do this is using some of these color presets and Premiere Pro calls this Lumetri presets. And I'm going to select some random ones. I mean, I don't really have a favorite, but um, let's see what this looks like. This one's called SL Blue Intense, and we're going to add to the video. And that gives it a really weird look. SL Blue Moon. That's another weird one. <laughs> this is called SL Gold. Um, let me see this one. SL Gold Western. Let's see what that looks like. And that gives it a kind of vintage look. I actually like that kind of look right there. The reason I'm showing this is because when you create a video, whether it be fashion and tutorial, sometimes you want to do something different and you want to be a little bit more creative. And a lot of people who create makeup tutorials, fashion stuff, usually you're a fan of art, design, or something like that. So you just really naturally want to be creative. So I think these options are pretty cool to have. And if you want to create some transitions, this one is called Cube Spin, and we'll just edit it right there. And that's all it does. It's a very simple, quick transition if you want to use something like that. Let's see the dissolve. And this one is a dip to black. And I like that a little bit more because, you know, it's simple. And I'm just going to bring it back to the way the color was. That's a regular color. Go to title, new title. We're going to add some text. And this is a good way to tell people about what you're talking about, especially if you're reviewing stuff. So we could just add some simple text. I usually show this to people in Premiere Pro just to get an idea of how you can use text. But if you want to change colors, you click on here. And if you want to change the fonts, we have presets down here. You also have different styles over here. And what we can do over here is just bring the text onto the timeline. And you see the text is right there. If you want to edit the text and you want to change where it goes, Effect Controls Panel or you go Window, Effect Controls. Select the option over here for Motion and you can change the position. And you can animate the position for the text. You can even scale it if you want. You can do something like that. And just remember, it's all about keyframes. Add one keyframe like that. Then increase the size. And we can also adjust the opacity. So select another keyframe for opacity. Scrub on the timeline. And you can also just set zero and it'll make it automatically add a keyframe just like here. Select 100. And those are some very simple keyframes you can add to your text. And actually another thing you can do with the text is add a crawl in. And this will make the text go from right to left or left to right. And you see here in another video, I gave a shout out to Janae Iko because <laughs> I was talking about her. And I'll just double click on this to show you guys what this looks like. Now, if you want to create something like this, you go to title, new title, and select default crawl. Once you do that, You'll give it a name and then you'll get to this screen. When we're on this screen, we'll select this option over here so you can see the options you have. And you'll just make sure that start off screen and end off screen are selected. That's what will allow you to actually crawl the text. You can also change the type of text that this is. If you want a default role, you'll just select role. And the way this works is like movie credits. And actually, I can show you guys that right now. Let me see. Adobe Easy. And you can adjust the speed of this if you want. It's really all about how you want to do this. You just extend it like that. And one more thing I want to show you guys is my outro. So if you notice over here, I have this nested. And what that means is that it just combines all the materials really easily and makes it organized. So I could select all these assets right here, right click on it, and we could select nest. Once you do that, you double click on it and you see everything over here. And what I have grouped together is an outro. And for you to create an outro, you can use Photoshop, After Effects. In this situation, I use Photoshop, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. You see this monkey character is walking onto the screen. I right click on that. And I just increased the speed in Premiere Pro. It's set at 700, it's really fast. But the reason I did that is because I didn't like the speed that I was at in After Effects. So I just change it there. I also have my logo. And to create a logo if you want to, which is a really great idea for your videos, if you want to watermark it, all you have to do is create something in Photoshop, have a transparent background, and that's why it's on this layer up here on top of the other layer. 
Then what you also wanna do is make sure that it's at a good size, so you can change the size over here at scale, and opacity again, where you change the opacity, so it's just a watermark. And as far as the outro, a lot of people include the social media platforms they're on, also tell people to like the video, and they might include a feature video like this. So that's just some advice for producing an outro for your video. And as far as the video and the way it looks with this white border, this is not a feature that Premiere Pro necessarily has, like, oh, select this video and put a border around it, and they really should have that. But anyways, I might include this in another tutorial, but this is how you do it. You go over here to Effect and select Grid. Once you do that, you'll just take the effect, left-click on it, bring it onto the video. Then you go to Effects Controls, and you set it here at Width and Height Sliders. You'll have it set at the video resolution, 1280 by 720. The border is 35. I also have a color of white, and then you have a border around your video. It's like a trick to actually get a border for a video. But anyways, that's why I have a border around the video like that. So that's pretty much it. Those are some tips and tricks in Premiere Pro for you fashion and beauty vloggers out there. Even if you're creating some makeup tutorials, style tutorials, whatever you're creating out there, let me know that you guys are watching. Give me this video a thumbs up if you like this video. And of course, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.